Hello, today I'm in uh, Bradley Green Primary School in Heidegan. This is part two of the Forest School video. We're just going to take another look around and see the exciting things to go up to. Who can tap the Bug Hotel four times? One, two, three, four, and stop. Who can tap the Bug Hotel five times? One, two, three, four, five. Who can tap it? Hold your stick in your glove hand, so it's in your non-tool hand, and I'm going to pass it to you by the handle. We point them down to our... Okay, well done. Amazing. Thank you, Jessica. Who's this? Willow. Willow? How much do you think it cost to set up what you've got? Oh, not much. I'd say, oh, because this has been developed over quite a few years, 
but it, it, under a couple of hundred pounds, I, I would say. Amazing. The cost, the cost is minimal, but the what we the learning opportunities are just a maximum. We have a lot of support from parents, so if needs be, they will provide um, their own waterproofs. Yep. The children all have their own wellies, and, and we set that as part of their their uniform when they start nursery. So um, we say there's no such thing as bad weather, uh, just bad clothing. Yep. So they all, we go out no matter what the weather. We make sure we have lots of hats. Um, summer and winter hats, lots of layers, waterproof clothing and, and wellies. Fantastic. Uh, how often do you see the Forest School? Um, well, we have full-time nursery and morning and afternoon, so all the children get uh, at least one session a week, so we're out here twice a week. So for full-time children, they get the two sessions and then they're able to revisit um, something that we might have done a couple, that week, a couple of days before. Um, challenge and extend and again take the lead in their own learning. What sort of impact do you think it has for what you've done in the forest school on the, on the, on the children? Oh, a huge in the prime areas of development. Um, the physical development in terms of the climbing trees, um, the using their fine and gross motor skills, being able to run, being able to fill and empty containers, um, transport, also um, in terms of the personal social emotional development children taking risks and and at first when we go into the forest it's about children building their resilience so some children might not like it at first because they don't not used to being outside right. so it's just building their stamina and the time that they're out uh, they're, they're out in the outdoor environment um, and also about making friendships yeah. and also then make, making their own decisions rather than um, being told that they have to do something, they're, they're, yeah, taking, yeah. they're taking their own lead. So does it look different now? I take it that they've done it most of the year. These um, children, are, yes, yeah, some children have been with us for nearly two years. Okay. Um, but we, this year, I started the forest school in week three of nursery. Yeah, right. So we, it's not long into the, into how long they've, they've been coming that they're out here, um, and we plan based on either maybe some texts. So last week. It was a Hedgehog Awareness Week, so we, um, I planted some hedgehogs out here and we built hedgehog houses and we linked it to a text called Hi Hedgehog. So we try and link it to literacy as well. Yeah. Um, and we learnt lots of facts about hedgehogs, what they like to eat. Uh, even I learned, so we're, we're, constant, yeah, yeah. we're constantly learning. Yeah, great. And does it look very different when you, like, because today I've seen loads of great resilience, I've seen the jumping off you know, uh, the pallets and the cool little climbing trees and things like that. Yes. Uh, at the start, when you start off, what, oh. does, what does it look like? Yeah, at the start, we I tend to start maybe using some things from the Woodland Trust. So we might, um, at the, in September time, they do invite a tree to tea party. So we might just like have our snack out here um, yeah. and then develop our, our, our time as we, as we get on. So as we start, we might only be out for half an hour. Yeah. Uh, now we're out for the full session. Um, yeah. We're building up the stamina and the children's time outside as well. Um, but as the, ta as the year goes on, with them is when we're introducing tools, um, we have fires, um, we use, last week we were using bow saws. Yeah. So we wouldn't use those to start with because we need to have the boundaries. We don't have rules in forest school, we call yeah. them code of conduct. So the children know it's about staying safe, having fun, yeah. and showing respect to nature and each other. So at first we need to get them used to not picking things. So we say like no yeah. pick, no lick. So they don't take the berries from the tree. Yeah. Are we explaining why uh, we need the flowers to stay out here? Because obviously the wildlife need them. So it's yeah. just it's just developing their, their knowledge really. So at the start, it's sort of setting up that code of conduct and getting that it mentality, is. and then it is um, and building up the time. Building up the time, we have. A, I've created like a forest school handbook, which we um, give to any visitors who are parent helpers. So we say, you know, there are there are no rules. We do have stick play, so everything's set out. So you know, children can use sticks. There's many yeah. many learning opportunities for, for stick use. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just about really building the time and not planning too much so yeah. I will plan maybe one activity and then really what you planned you might not even do you know it's, yeah, it's yeah. following their interests and their and their lead. We saw some amazing stick phonics before which I never even thought of doing that without some stick phonics. Is there any other uh, tips for phonics? Um, I, it's, I mean forest school is perfect for um, phase one so you know closing your eyes and just listening what's 
in the environment around you, yeah. um, following rhythm and rhyme. Um, you know, you can use the sticks as well for math. So we're, we're talking about measuring a stick, so they know that they're not allowed to stick longer from the shoulder um, to the finger. Yeah. Um, so you're talking, bringing in that language of length. You can make some um, shapes with sticks. So it's, I'd say not just phonics, we can, we can bring it in, into the maths as yeah, well. Great. Any top tips for anyone wanting to set up a forest school like this? I'd say just just go for it. If you've got the right staff, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate. I've got a wonderful teaching assistant who is very supportive and loves the outdoors like me as well. We set our stall out with parents straight away in terms of it's not optional. We do go out in all weathers. So if a parent comes in to say, um, they've got a cold, I don't want them to go outside. Well, we are going outside and um, that's part of our, the outdoors to us is the same as the indoors. You know, it's the same high quality environment. Yeah. So I'd say straight away, just make sure you've got your resources in terms of um, some suitable clothing, which I'm sure you can ask maybe parents for donations. Um, people might have some, some things at home. Um, and then just also just set up some, some basic plans and get the children involved in setting up the environment. Yep. We've not done this, this is all from the children. They help right. move logs. That you know, we had a parent who's made our mud kitchen for us out of old decking. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. Um, I found lots of things in the charity shop. Right. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money, but if you just have your basic area, just even a patch of grass with some, you could plant um, some trees. You yeah. can get them from the Woodland Trust. We've yeah. had planted some saplings. Again, they're free. Um, so there's lot, there's lots of resources out there that w wouldn't need to cost any money. Brilliant. Well, it's been fantastic. Thank you so much here for letting us come. Oh, thank this. you. Thank you wonderful. for visiting us. Thank you. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much to Bradley Green Primary School for letting me come today. We've seen some amazing things, some beautiful uh, outdoor learning. Um, if anyone watching would like us to come to your school and nursery, please leave a comment in the comments below. Please like this video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye, Martin. Bye bye, Mark. Bye bye, Martin and Mark. We'll see you again soon. Say bye-bye. Bye! And we also need to say thank you.